Take has continued for over a week now. Good, good. Any new signs of rejection? Absolutely none. The patch of pneumonia has completely cleared up. What about his blood pressure? That was a little off yesterday, but today it seems to be completely level. Oh, excellent. Excellent. Any adverse or abnormal symptoms? Oh, couldn't be better. The transplant is a complete success. Excellent. look fantastic. We complete the balance of the test now. And tomorrow, we remove the original head. You see, he loves me. Doctor, I wouldn't get too close if I were you. I'll be absurd, Donald. He trusts me. And he needs me. After all, we understand one another. I am the genius that has given him a new life, and he... In return, will help me keep mine. Arterial clamp, please. Ah, uh, little perfusion. Ladies and gentlemen, this is one of our three operating facilities. The Kirshner Transplant Foundation is the only place in the world where such a massive operation can take place. Sponge. Dr. Smith, in such a massive transplant, why don't we see more blood? That's because at this moment, both the patient and the donor organs are hooked up to individual heart-lung machines. They control the blood flow through those plastic tubes. Is that Dr. Kirshner on the platform? Yes. Dr. Kirshner supervises the major transplant operations. Does he ever operate himself? No, uh, not anymore. He developed a severe arthritic condition a year or so ago, and, well, it makes surgery quite difficult for him. I'm leaving early today. Now, the only thing left on the schedule is a kidney transplant. Right. I see no problems there, do you? I don't. Well, you and Hirsch take care of it, and I'll see you in the morning. OK. By the way, I had a pretty good job in there today, you and the team. Thank you. I didn't think you noticed. I said good. I didn't say excellent. <laughs> Are you all right now, Doctor? They're getting worse. And more frequent. There must be something we can do. You know damn well I can't take any drugs. I must keep my mind alert. I'm sorry, Thomas. 
but it's difficult. Thomas, move easily. Give him the injection. Quiet, boy. Get up, boy. Easy, boy. Good. Come on. All right, Thomas, now move easily. Now stay calm. Behave normally and slowly and just, just as if you're dealing with a child. I didn't get it. I didn't get it. Be quiet. Don't run around. marker will discard organs that are malfunctioning beyond what the human eye can detect. Young man, you realize we operate here in a success average of 92%. Can your machine improve on that? I'm sorry to interrupt, Dr. Pershner. Dr. Williams has arrived. You asked me to let you know as soon as he got here. Oh, show him in here, will you? Dr. Williams? I instructed the board to hire him without an interview. He's done some interesting work on rejection prevention. Well, of course, I've read about him. He's excellent. This is Dr. Williams. Dr. Desmond? Pleasure nice meeting you. Phil Desmond, head of surgery. This is Jim Franklin. Hi, how are you? Fine. And this is Dr. Kirshner. Dr. Kirshner, I've been looking forward to meeting you, sir. And I'm very happy to be on your staff. Won't you sit down? Thank you. Dr. Williams. Yes, sir. How was the trip from Minneapolis? Very pleasant, thank you. Uh, Doctor, since originally hiring you, uh, certain situations which you were depending upon haven't arisen. 
And due to budgetary setbacks, we find that we're unable to use your services. But we signed a contract. And I've already given up my position in Minneapolis. Miss Davis, check the terms of his contract. It's for a six-month trial period, 500 per week. The board is most generous. I've been a physician for over five years, and I was making much more than that in Minneapolis. Oh, come now, Dr. Williams. I, I didn't mean that at all. What I meant was, it's just that here we pay our lab men much less. I'm much more than a lab man, sir. I'm a doctor. That's not bargain, doctor. What is it you want? What I wanted was to work with Maxwell Kirshner, one of the foremost transplant specialists in the world. Why is it you people always put yourself in a position where you, where you don't fit? Max, it's not necessary. Uh, why is it all of a sudden that uh, I don't fit? I'll get some coffee and we'll uh, look at this thing some other time. Yes, why don't you do that? Yes, sir. Uh, I'll do that. Why don't we stop playing around, Doctor? Things might be different if I were white, right? Let's put it this way. This is my hospital. I run it my way. I hire whom I please. And I don't wish to hire you. Oh, no. Let's put it this way. We have a legal and binding contract. And I intend to see you follow it to the letter. All right, Doctor. You'll have your six months. But that will be it. Report to Dr. Hirsch for scheduling. Thank you. Six months will be long enough. I'll watch you and I'll learn. That's what I came here for. And when I've learned what you know, I'll fit myself in somewhere else. Max, that wasn't necessary. What is or what is not necessary in this hospital is my affair. As you know, I never allow colored people on my personal staff. I just got carried away by some superficial accomplishments before interviewing the man. Whether he's black or not, he's an excellent doctor. <sighs> Philip, do me a favor, will you? Cover for me today. I have some important things to do at home. I don't believe it. Yeah, no. Huh. Call Dr. Desmond. Tell him it's urgent. I want to see him here immediately. Max, what is it? Hello, Trev. What's the problem? The condition is terminal chest cancer. Prognosis, I have two or three weeks to live with the most. Why didn't you tell me this? There's no point in telling you. You couldn't do anything about it anyway. Well, in your own case, I doubt if you're the best judge. Well, let's get you to the hospital and start working. Donald, show him the x-rays. That was taken over three months ago. And as you can see, the condition was inoperable at that time. Progression has gone past the lungs and into the pleural cavity and the rib cage. Organ transplanting would be futile. I'm afraid I'll have to agree with you. Is there uh, anything I can do to make it easier? Yes, there is. Donald, show him.
That is not the gorilla's original head. He's heavily sedated now, but we have achieved 100% total spinal alignment on the newly transplanted head. It's impossible. Is it? Heart, lungs, kidneys, arms, legs, everything is functioning properly. Look at this. A top one. I kept the original body and the transplanted head alive on two separate heart-lung machines. Well, what do you think? Absolutely amazing. Exactly. Total spinal alignment achieved by using matching electric currents attached to the nerve ends. I left the two heads together for 28 days until the new one was strong enough to take over. The removal operation was really quite simple. I did it myself, alone in 35 minutes. This could revolutionize the whole profession. I'll get a paper on it no, right away. No, 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 no. You've got to go much further. That's why I need your help. What are you talking about? I'm talking about science, about genius. Genius must be prolonged. Philip, I want to transplant my head on a healthy body. Well? Well? I don't know. What don't you know? It hasn't been proven. Then we'll prove it now. My genius must be allowed to continue. Philip, I have nothing, absolutely nothing to lose. There is no other way for me to live. No, I guess there isn't. Of course, we'll need a donor. Perhaps someone with an inoperable brain condition. With a body that cannot be saved, but is healthy enough to withstand the operation until we can remove the other head. It won't be easy, Max. Such a patient only comes along once in a great while. We perform the operation here, in secret. The fewer people who know about this, the less our chance of trouble with public opinion. Philip, you've got to help me. Well, as you said, Max, you have absolutely nothing to lose. No, no, his Pressure brain must be totally inoperable. That's correct. A cancer patient Talk is out patient of the question. Patient? Thank Blood you. Blood type? Oh, I'm sorry, this that doesn't matter. The Kershaw Institute. Awesome. Patient must be able to sustain life for at least 30 30 days. Thank you. May I help you? Thank you for trying. No, the body has to be No, I'm perfect. sorry. No, we're looking Thank you. Uh, Thank you. This is the curtain. No good, Patricia. Mm -hmm. We've had two mm -hmm. possibilities in the last four weeks, and neither matched mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry, but I can't take any other questions. Thank you, Mr. Curtain. Can I help you? Yes? Oh, fine. Bring him in. Hey, Phil, it's been a long time. Mitch, thanks for seeing me on such short notice. Uh, anytime. Grab a chair. Thank you. Since I talked to you yesterday, I've come up with a few answers. Oh? Can you help us? Yeah, you said it was urgent, so I pulled a few strings for you, and I talked to the governor, and I talked to the attorney general, and uh, here's the deal. First, we can't let any of this leak to the press. We're already having enough trouble with these executions without uh, adding fuel to the fire. You've got it. Next. The convict must be under total police security at all times. And proof of his subsequent death must be certified by a state physician. Of course, we're assuming some things. We're assuming that uh, someone on death row will decide to donate his body to science rather than go to the chair. Well, we can only hope. Tell me something, uh, just off the record. What's this experiment about? Transplant, Mitch. Just another transplant. Men, listen up. We have a message from the warden. This is an offer from the Office of the Lieutenant Governor to all men presently on death row. We are hereby offering one of you the opportunity of donating your body to science rather than undergo your present sentence of death by electrocution. While the resulting scientific experiment will, after a period of 30 days, also result in your death, you will, at least, 
have the personal satisfaction that your life has aided humanity and the scientific world. Only 60 millimeters of mercury. What do you think? Well, if it weren't for our life support systems, you'd be dead now. As it is, I don't know, uh, one day, four at the most. I don't think he'll regain consciousness, which means that we're going to have to find our donor immediately. All right, Jack, it's time. Who might be? Who is it, Jack? Jack, let him have it. Jack, give him hell! Jack, you bite him all the way! Just kick him and bite him and don't him, Jack! Jack, make him crazy, you there! Jack, make him work! Jack, listen, when they kill you, when they kill you, they're gonna kill a real man! Jack! Jack. I want to try to understand To live right and to give life to my fellow man Oh, Lord Sometimes I sit and For the children that are hungry And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever Amen More power to you, brother Jack Moss, it is my duty to carry out the sentence of the court and the law of our state. Is there anything that you wish to say before sentence is carried out? Yeah. The same thing I've been telling you guys all the time, and you didn't believe me. I'm innocent, and my girl and some friends are close to proving it. So I've been thinking, Warden. I think I'd like to donate my body to science after all. Desmond? Sergeant Hacker. Sergeant. How do you do? This is your uh, volunteer. Hey, Doc, is this going to hurt? I beg your pardon? 
You're gonna operate, right? Is this gonna hurt? No, no, no. You won't feel a thing. Oh, that's good. Because I got what is called a low pain level. I don't like to get hurt. We're gonna sedate you right now. You won't feel any pain. Oh, that's good. What are you guys gonna do to me anyway? We're conducting a transplant uh, experiment, Mr. Moss. They did explain to you that you won't survive this operation. They did explain to you, didn't they? Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Big Jack got himself 30 more days. Then the man's gonna try to pull a switch again. 30 more days. Maybe all I need. Then everybody gonna know Big Jack is innocent. Yes, sir. Try to tell. Listen. Sponge. Wipe. Arrow scissors. Bulldog clamp. Scalpel and forceps. Scalpel. Suction. Pads. Ringer solution. Oxnaclam. 500 cc spec cells. Sponge. Sponge. Hemostat. Isotonic saline. Mosquito clamp. Another mosquito clamp. Arterial choke, 7 0. Steady. Suction. Smitty, ready. Release the clamps. More perfusion. Steady. Adrenaline, please. Oxner clamp. Cooley clamp. Scalpel and forceps. Arterial choke, 7 0. Excellent job. I congratulate all of you. Just remember complete secrecy. You're on. What are you watching? Uh, nothing special. I was just switching around trying to find something else. Hey, how about making us some coffee? Yeah, sure, Sarge. Anything you say. Philip. Listen to me. We did it. We transplanted your head. We did it, Max. And everything is checking out properly. Max, it's going to work. I knew it would. My God, I knew it would. I can feel it. I can 
breathe with it. I can feel my hand. I, I think I'm moving it. Am I moving it? Yes, it's moving, Max. It feels so strong. So magnificently, fantastically, beautifully strong. I think I'm lifting my left arm. I am lifting it. I know I am. Max, we had to make a last minute decision. We had no choice. Is this some kind of a joke? You were in a terminal coma. We had nowhere else to turn. It was our only chance. If it wasn't for him, you wouldn't have made it. Let me see him. we could do. Is that a fact? You wouldn't have lived on the life support systems for more than one more day. Is that a fact? Breakfast will be along in a few minutes. Oh, thank you, honey. Hey, Sam, wake up. It's breakfast time. Take your hands off me. What happened? What have you guys done to me? I'm talking to you, man. What have you guys done? Shut up. Where's the rest of you? We are joined together temporarily. What do you mean? They've transplanted my head under your body. Now, will you shut up and get some rest? We need our rest. We? What do you mean, we? I told you guys I was innocent. I just need a little time. Why do you guys do this to me? Why do you do this to me? Easy, easy, Teddy. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. I'll take care of this. Oh. 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 oh, I couldn't stop him. A black bastard, I couldn't stop him. It's all right, now. Just relax. No harm done. The incision is fine. Let's take it easy. I couldn't move the left arm. He was controlling it. I couldn't move it. it. Takes time, Max. You know that. Your head won't begin to take control of that body. For Ten to fourteen days. How am I going to ever control him? Well, he might do it again. He could. He could kill me. No, no, no. He won't. I will keep his head locally sedated until then. Oh, when he was out. You only had minor control. Do you understand that? Yeah. No. I'm going to give you something to make you relax. Ah. Philip. Philip, I can feel that. I can feel it. I can feel it. Oh. It's all right, Max. We're going to make it. We're going to make it. Dr. Williams, I've been looking for you. Dr. Desmond has asked that you meet with him at Dr. Kirshner's as soon as possible, and here's the address. 
Are you sure you asked for me? Specifically. Thank you. Dr. Desmond, over there. Oh, Dr. Williams, uh, we'll talk about this later. Right. Doctor, I'm sorry I haven't had a chance to talk to you since you started at the hospital. It's really not necessary. Oh, no, yes, it is. I want to apologize. I mean, for Dr. Kirshner. See, he's not had an easy life. Even his childhood is. Well, I can certainly sympathize with people who have had a difficult childhood. Let me put it another way. It's possible we may be making medical history right here. We'll know in a week or so. We've performed a massive transplant, and we're expecting severe rejection problems. Quite honestly, I could use your help. Why me? Because of your anti-rejection techniques, they could come in handy. It could mean the difference between success and failure. You've got the best people from the hospital here. Now, why me? And especially here. Well, doctor, I understand your problem. But did you ever stop to think that my views may not be the same as Dr. Kirshner's? Now, we're, we're testing 24 hours a day. You're a good doctor and an excellent lab man. And I need your help. Will you help me? Yes, doctor. I'll do everything I can to help. Thank you. Now, I can't divulge the full nature of the operation as yet. You'll have enough uh, information to do your job. I want you to go home, get some things. The entire staff is living here. Uh, Dr. Hirsch will assign you a room. Thank you. Thank you. We have a patch of pneumonia. That extra decadron has given us one hell of a problem. The body just can't fight infection with it. Cut down the dosage of Barbertal to the blackhead. He's too far under. We need all the help we can get from him. Right, doctor, right away. You've been working for 16 hours. Would you like me to get your relief? Uh, no, thank you, nurse. I'll be all right. Thanks, anyway. Okay. How's it been with Count? It's better. Much better. In fact, it's falling slowly. <laughs> Good. We're going to make it. OK, so uh, one to us here on the outside really get to know what's going on in there. <laughs> Won't be long now. How are we doing? Well, the pneumonia's finally stable. No improvement, but uh, at least he's no worse. Philip? I think we may have a chance. You're late for the injection, nurse. I was about to look for you. Now, get going. Sorry, doctor. I'll get right to it. What's the matter with you, Moss? Get back to bed. You jive. 
Holy shit. You crazy, you'll never get out of here. That's what you think. Take it easy, lady. I'm not gonna hurt you. Run, you idiot! Get help! Oh. Help! Help! Shut up. Oh. Hold it there, everybody. Hold it right there. Will somebody do something? No, I don't want to hurt nobody, but I will if I have to. You, so brother. You better call. Yeah. What? You're now the chauffeur. Let's go. But my keys are in my coat in the closet. Well, let's get them. Let's go. Let's go. And the rest of you folks, you just stay inside till we're gone. And nobody's gonna get hurt. Get in the car, you drive it. He's out of here with me. Call the police. We'll keep track of him. Stop this car immediately. By helping him, you're making yourself an accomplice. Why don't you shut up? Hey, that's telling him, man. I should have known your kind stick together. You a doctor? Yeah. How good a doctor are you? What do you mean by that? You've done operation before and a patient lived? <laughs> so far, so good. Then how about you taking old happy face off from here? Williams. Turn this car around immediately, now! You don't do it, and I'll get rid of him my way. William, that'd be about as smart as you jumping out of this car. How's that? I mean that if you kill him, you'll kill yourself. The only way to eliminate his head and live is through surgery. Okay. We'll just have to figure out a way to do it right, then. There they are. Thank God you're slowing down. Well, we don't want to catch them. We just want to keep them in sight. If we get into traffic, there may be a police car around somewhere. There's a car following us. Step on the gas. I'm doing the best I can on this road. He's going to get us all killed. There's a police car up ahead of us. There's a police. <laughs> Jack Boss, you just passed him in 1969 Yellow Ford, about 10 seconds away. They're going to be coming back soon. Hit the brakes. Oh, my God. Move over. You're a passenger now. I'm driving. And use it to escape from the police. Police are gaining on us. But they're not going to get us, man. I'm going to lose them. Shooting at us! Stop this car, you black bastard! Stop it! Whatever you said, baby. <laughs> no way they're going to get me, man. This is 22 Charlie to headquarters. Over. Roger 22, this is headquarters. We are an operative. Lost suspects vicinity, Ridge Route 4 and Compton Place. Request assistance. Well, what kind of assistance do you require, 22? Well, a tow truck would be nice. Well, are you going to help me or not? I told you I haven't decided yet. 
Listen, man, I know the jury, the DA, and the papers all say I'm guilty. But Big Jack knows the truth. Well, Big Jack better stop this insanity and give himself up before we're all killed. What's this we stuff? They're not after you, they're after me. So I'll do the thinking. You said back there that you were innocent. I am. They all say that. Sure they do, but in my case, it happens to be true. Heck, I didn't know you guys were going to do this to me. I figured I was going to die anyway, so what the hell? They transplant something from my body makes a kid live? That's good. But I had no idea you was going to do this. Anyway, I'm innocent, and I'm going to prove it. So how about it? I told you I haven't decided yet. You mean you're actually considering helping this escape murderer? Murderer? You the murderer trying to cut off my head? That's different. <laughs> Funny how it becomes different when you're talking about your own head. choice? Nope. At least not right now. Let's go. to headquarters. We're rest here the dark. Then we'll make it over my girl's house. Police may be looking for you there. It's cool, because they don't know where she lives. May I have your attention, please? Ground control. We're going to move out across Ridge 4. Please spread out. Follow us in a line, and we'll see if we can help you spot him. Let's go. So how did it happen? What? How'd you wind up on death row? Oh, a cop got killed with a gun I used to own a few years back. Well, if you didn't do it, didn't you have an alibi? Willie Thompson. Well, who's that? Crazy guy I used to know. He came knocking on my door a few days before I got picked up. He'd pulled a job and the police had gotten a make on him. So he needed a place to hide out. It's interesting how criminals always seek out other criminals. Man, I ain't no criminal. Of course you're not. Wait, oh, hold on, Doctor. Go ahead. Uh, now, what happened then? Well, the night the cop got killed, Willie and I stayed at my place. The next morning, I went to the store to get some food. They arrested me. When Willie heard I'd been picked up, he disappeared like a ghost man. And neither you nor the police have been able to find him since, have you? Nope. But we will. Just a matter of time. Proposition for you. This transplant has made medical history. Now we should work together. Just you and me. You and me? Look, you work with me on this, and I'll make it up to you. Just you and me. We'll take all the credit for what we've done here. What about Dr. Desmond? Philip? 
Oh, he's an excellent surgeon. But I see a more promising future with you. And you actually feel that I could take credit for something with which I had very little to do? I don't understand you. The reason you don't understand, Doctor, is because you're a bigot. A bigot of the highest caliber. And because of that, you have underestimated me and my intelligence. Maybe I said it badly. I appreciate your intelligence. But we're expanding the operational facilities with a much larger lab contingency. And I need a man like you to head that department. And in order to win all that great acclaim and prestige, all I have to do is help you cut off his head. Control of lost suspect in the vicinity of a hill 14. Recommend you proceed immediately to this area. We gotta get out of here fast. Let's go. Hey, wait, wait, wait a minute. Uh, look, before I get killed, I'll make a deal with you. You put that thing away and I'll stick with you, okay? Deal. Let's go. is now on the Saddleback Racecourse, approximately one and one-half miles due south of your present roadblock position. We are returning to base and will advise unit control to surround the area. 10-4.
Sam, check the back of the house. Come on, Will. I know, I know, Mitch. But it, it, it's not as bad as it sounds. Look, Mitch, the police are here. Can I call you back when I find out some more information? Yeah, well, my God, Phil. Uh, do you have any conception of what this means? We talked about secrecy and, and, and public opinion. This is incredible. Mitch, I understand, but we're doing everything possible. It's not as bad as it sounds. Phil, a murderer is on the loose because of my decision. The press is saying that you've turned him into a two-headed monster. I've committed political suicide. And you say it's not as bad as it sounds. Mitch, I, I'll have to get back to you. It's not as bad as it sounds.
I think I broke my arm. I told you to keep that seat belt fastened. Harry, stick your head out the window and see if any more is coming. I got him coming around Circle Pass. You come in from the other direction. 10-4, we've got him now. It's all right, honey. I'm not going to hurt you. You get into more shit. They were talking about this on the television, but I had no idea. Are you all right? I'm fine. How about a kiss? Honey, um, I, I know you don't like to answer a lot of questions, but, but how did that happen? Oh, I'll tell you about that later. This is Max. He's a doctor. Nice to meet you. Does it talk? Sure he does. Don't touch me! See? Works every time. This is Fred. He's a doctor, too. Hello. Honey, I was wondering, um, do you have two of anything else? <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Dick Whittington. At the top of the news tonight is certainly one of the most bizarre stories this reporter has ever heard. But it has been reported by several confirmed eyewitnesses that a two-headed monster has been seen. Police have issued an all-points bulletin. 
Police and state officials are also investigating the mysterious disappearance of condemned murderer Jack Moss, who last month donated his body to medical science. How this situation came about is still not known. Earlier at his home this morning, we interviewed, or should I say, we attempted to interview Dr. Philip Desmond, the acting chief of the Kirshner Transplant Foundation, and here is that interview. Dr. Desmond, what kind of an experiment was performed on Jack Moss? It was not an experiment, it was an operation. What can you tell us about the two-headed man? No further comments. It was a transplant operation, wasn't it, Doctor? Look, gentlemen, the Foundation in a few days will issue a formal statement now. Excuse me. Level with us, Doctor. Have you created a monster? Oh, come on, Doc. Give us a break. What are you trying to hide, anyway? And as you can see, still no answers. But this is known. A two-headed man has been seen, and it is suspected that condemned murderer Jack Moss is one of those two heads. Police have reported that their switchboards are jammed with calls from an alarmed and panicked public. And we'll be right back after this important commercial message. You get some sleep, baby. I'll wake you when dinner's ready. Why don't you stay here for a little while? Oh, come on, honey. I gotta start dinner. You don't have to start now. Why don't you do it later? C come on, Jack. Is he bothering you? I'll cover his head with a pillowcase. You must be joking. Is that all you people ever think about? It's no use, honey. Maybe when I get used to it. Now you know you got to go. So what's going to happen to Jack? What about that other head? I don't know yet. Um, Jack tells me that you're trying to uh, help him locate his witness. That's right. His name is Willie Thompson. We tracked him down once in Nashville, but he took off before we could talk to him. You say we. Does that mean you have a detective agency on him? Mm-hmm. Then you really believe that he's innocent? Well, if I didn't, would I spend all this time and money? I don't know. Look, Jack was railroaded because the cops didn't have any other leads. The only crime Jack ever committed was letting Willie hide out at his place. Uh, the only problem is that's Jack's story, too. Listen, it's also Willie Thompson's story. I talked to Willie before he took off once he heard the cops had picked up Jack. He thought the cops were getting too close, so he said he was sorry he got Jack into trouble and took off. Now, when I told him that in court, they said it was hearsay. So what about you? Why are you here? Jack wants me to help him. Well, are you? Well, the more I hear, the more I think I will. That's good. Because he certainly doesn't deserve what he's getting. Come on, you can help me clean these screens. Anyway. I didn't, uh, I didn't kill nobody. Now I got a second chance to prove it. They're gonna get us both killed trying it. That's great logic. Yo, man, have some books. Chow, take it away. I can't stand that garbage. What's the matter, baby? Don't you dig soul food? What do you got for dessert? Watermelon? What do you all think about having fried pots and then chitlins for supper tomorrow? Yes, sir. <laughs> anyway, doctor, you don't have to worry about eating because I'm gonna take care of that. After all, it's my stomach. Mm. And after supper, we can all sit around and sing spirituals. <laughs> Could I have a cigarette? Oh, sure, honey. Jack, uh, Lila was telling me about Willie Thompson. Same thing I told you, right? Right. Seems like the court did give you a raw deal. Hey, man, are we smoking while I'm eating? Doc, how difficult would it be to remove Mr. Personality from off of Jack's back? Without a team of surgeons and the proper facilities, absolutely impossible. Oh, come on now, Doctor. We both know better than that. What do you mean? I mean that placing your head on Jack's body must have been quite a task. But the removal process is quite different, isn't it, Doc? In fact, one might consider it merely a basic amputation. You mean, you mean you could cut him off of Jack's back by yourself? Yes, that's right. If there's some place where we could find the right drugs and surgical equipment, we could do it right here. Then you're gonna help me? Yes. I think I will. Williams, if you cut off my head, that'll be murder. But it's okay for you to cut off my head, is that right? 
Williams, I'm warning you. Listen, Krishna. I've heard enough to convince me that this man is innocent and that you have no right to his body. Then you're going to help me? Yes. Honey, can we borrow your car? Why, you idiot! You do this, you'll be the same as he is, a murderer! Boys, 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 don't argue. It's all settled. Dr. Max has got to go. Think there are any guards in here? How am I supposed to know? Didn't you bring your gun with you? Left it at Lila's. Are you sure you've ever done anything like this before? Not even in your apprenticeship? Of your body. Cut it off, man! Doctor, help me, doctor! Help me! Help me! Now, now it's your turn. This is Dr. Kirshner. May I speak to Dr. Desmond, please? Max, where are you? Philip, can you talk? Yes, Max, I can talk. Well, listen carefully. I haven't got much time. I want you and Smith and Patricia to prepare for the removal of the other head. Max, no, no, no. The, the place is crawling with police. They want Moss dead. Now, you don't stand a chance of getting in here. I see. All right, I'll have to handle it myself. Max, listen to me. All I've done is listen. Now, this is basically a very simple operation. And I think I can do it myself. I'll contact you when I'm able. several broken arms, one broken leg, and numerous bruises and broken ribs. All of the officers involved appear to be in good health. The chase, which took place in a deserted field near the city of Ackersfield, resulted in the total demolition of 14 police vehicles. We were able to interview Lieutenant J.J. Heinsacker, who led the chase. I'll get him! I'll get the blood! Thank you for those words of encouragement, Lieutenant Heinsacker. And now, to our sports desk. Well, Lila, this is Dr. Williams. Kirshner has taken control of the body and has gotten away. Now, there are only two places he could have gone, and I don't think he'll try the hospital. Can you borrow a car? OK, pick me up on the corner of Washington and Jay as soon as possible, OK? All right. Philip, what is it? I just talked to Max. I don't know what's going on, but I want to be able to operate within a moment's notice. Oh, we can't work here. The police. No, I know. Maybe they'll catch him alive. In that case, we'll be ready. You tell Dr. Smith to uh, stand by.
You'd be killing an innocent man. Better get over to Dr. Christian's house as soon as possible. He needs your help. Who is this? Hello? Body. Please. 